Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. channel. I thought I'd do a, a pet tag kind of video today, asking some questions about Ishka. Just got some basic questions, get to know her questions, that kind of thing. I thought this might be helpful for some people maybe interested in getting a border collie. So here we go, let's start this. What is your pet's name? My pet's name is Ishka. What breed is your pet? Ishka is a border collie. How old is your pet? Ishka will be four in November this year. How old were you when you got your pet? Um, I got Ishka when I was 18 years old, I believe. How did you come up with the name? Does it have any significance? My parents had two Rottweilers when I was born. Um, and one of them was called Ishka. My grandparents also apparently had a German Shepherd called Ishka at one point. Um, and I just really liked the name and I thought it'd be nice to keep the tradition going a little bit. Does your pet have a nickname and what is it? The most recent nickname I give her every now and then is Puppy. Um, sometimes it's Ish, very rarely though. My auntie used to call it Ishi. <laughs> what is your pet's favourite food? Ishka absolutely loves a raw diet. Cannot get enough of it. What is your pet's favourite game? Well, if it counts as a game, I'd definitely say fetch. She absolutely loves it. Um, although, personally, I'm not sure whether or not she sees it as a game or if she just sees it as work. Oh, look at that. She's laying down. What is your favourite thing to do together? Well, I know her favourite thing to do is definitely coming out for me to throw the ball around. Enough. Um, but personally, I like to, like, I like to just walk Ishka. I like to just walk around the neighbourhood, um, hang out, do that kind of thing. I like to go to new places with her. Do you go outdoors? If yes, where is your favourite place to go together? I think I personally like going somewhere more remote, um, in the bush, somewhere with a lot of trees, bushes, uh, like hiking, I guess. What is a bad habit that your pet has? When Ishka was living away from me for a couple of months, um, she was living with some family of mine and they had a very active household. Um, because she was a puppy and because she had no real outlet, wasn't walked much, didn't get out. Um, she got quite stressed in that environment and um, due to that, she started chasing lights and following her own shadow in the house. I've kind of learnt a few different tactics to kind of help her not do that because I know it's an obsessive behaviour or it can turn out to be one. Um, so now she doesn't do it as often, um, she's so much better than what she used to be, but she, st she still will do it. What is the best quality that your pet has? Ishka's a pretty obedient dog, um, and I love that about her. From a very young age, she started to get the hang of recall pretty quickly. Um, I felt like I didn't need to teach her that too much. Ishka's a very gentle dog as well. She's a very gentle girl. She's very careful with people, um, especially children, which I absolutely love that quality about her. What is the naughtiest thing your pet has ever done? Um, when Ishka was younger, she jumped up on the dining table to eat some food that was left out up there. That's probably the naughtiest thing she's done. What is the funniest memory involving your pet? At one point my sister was looking after Ishka and um, she sent me a photo of Ishka as a puppy. I'll probably put it up on the video here. It was a picture of um, Ishka lying in the door frame, just sleeping. She'd fallen asleep, but just her face was absolutely hilarious. What is the best memory involving your pet? I think the best memories I've had with Ishka is definitely going to new places 
and just enjoying the adventure myself but also just seeing her enjoying the moment and living in the moment what is the strangest thing about your pet so she started doing this more recently when we moved um, into the current house we're in now and I wonder if that's <laughs> no I'm good thanks <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> I think one of the strangest things about Ishka is how she'll bend her back sometimes and that might sound weird but when she's playing with a toy or sometimes with another dog she'll lie her head on the ground and bend her body sideways but upward with her butt in the air. What is the most amusing thing your pet always does? She loves rubbing her back on the rug. That is probably the most amusing thing that she does often. What is the hardest thing about being a pet owner? I'm going to answer this from, I suppose, this perspective of a border collie owner. Probably providing enough exercise outlet for Ishka. Um, with having other needs and commitments of my own. What is the most rewarding thing about being a pet owner? Definitely the snuggles. The companionship when you find other people who enjoy dogs just as much as you do and the quality that they can bring the kindness that dogs give dog in one hand poop bag in the other let's go What a nice day. All right, next question. Have you ever taught your pet any tricks? If so, what? Ishka can sit, she can lie down, um, she can wait or stay, she can sit pretty, she can roll over. Just a little bit though, you still have to, I still have to use treats for that one. Does your pet love to learn new tricks? I don't know. I don't know if Ishka actually loves to learn new tricks. Like, it's good for her mental stimulation, but at the same time, she doesn't seem as enthusiastic to actually learn tricks than I've seen other Border Collies do. Do you love to stylize your pet? I don't have many things to decorate Ishka with, but I do enjoy it. Has your pet ever experienced any traumatizing event? Yes, Ishka has experienced the traumatizing event before. Unfortunately, in Ishka's case, it was a dog that she lived with, grew up with. Um, when it went in heat, it became aggressive. And for the longest time, this was when Ishka wasn't living with me. Um, for the longest time, they decided to hang on to that dog and because Ishka was in an environment that was not only high energy uh, that made her stressed, she had to live with this dog that would stare her down and essentially intimidate her all the time. Um, if Ishka got too excited about anything, the dog would attack. That's quite a personal story. I'm not gonna fully share within this video. Has your pet ever been aggressive? Ishka has been aggressive before. Um, most of her aggression is fearful. She can be okay with dogs. She just needs time to um, warm up to them. Um, she's not too keen on particularly dogs that run up in her face very quickly. She doesn't like being rushed. She does prefer dogs that um, are a bit older, I think, and a bit more mellow. I think mellow dogs are definitely what she will react a lot better to. Does your pet sleep in its own bed or does it, or does she sleep with you? She gets a little bit of both. She likes to sleep on the floor, even though I've got her a bed. Um, she likes to sleep on the hard wood floor um, or tiles sometimes. I think she gets a bit too hot and likes to sleep on that. Um, she'll jump up on our bed in the morning, 
but that's about it. Does your pet listen to you? Yeah, I'd say most of the time she listens. How do you pacify your pet whenever it becomes anxious? Ah, uh, well, I find that exercising Ishka is a good way to relieve some of her anxiety. Um, it gives her an outlet. Sometimes, if we're in the home though, um, putting her in our bedroom upstairs is a good way to calm her down. Because um, the room is quiet, you know, we'll turn off the light sometimes, have a night light on. So it's like a nice mood in there for her to just settle down. What do you reward your pet with whenever it does something good? Uh, mostly verbal praise. Um, I'll only kind of use treats whenever I'm training, but mostly it's verbal. Um, I love to give her a good pat, say good girl, that kind of thing. How difficult or easy is it to handle a border collie? Ah, uh, this one's like, these are big questions. <laughs> I think it can be easier to handle a border collie if you have the right home environment to begin with. You've got a bit of knowledge behind your back. Um, you recognize that they are a working dog and not just a, a normal pet. Um, I think it's good to recognize behaviors that they might get if they do become too anxious. Um, know that you have to socialize them early on, like most dogs. Um, how difficult or easy it is to handle a border collie? Um, I just feel like the more knowledge you have before you get one, the better off you'll be. I think um, if you know a bit about dogs and how to handle dogs, um, getting a border collie will be a bit easier. The more difficult it is to handle a border collie, I think personally affects me most is her energy and having to exercise her a lot. Um, when I was younger, I wasn't really the type to um, want to go out every day, but I knew that I had to because if I didn't, um, she'd have nothing to do and it wasn't good for her. So eventually I just forced myself to get into the habit of going out every day. That's probably the most difficult thing. I think um, sometimes their, their intelligence is like, it's like, a good thing and a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. Um, they're super easy to train. Um, they love to do everything with you. They're amazing dogs, um, super dedicated. But if you don't give them an outlet, you don't give them a bit of structure, you don't tell them exactly what you want them to do, um, they, they can get quite difficult to handle. Has your life changed after getting your pet Heck yeah, holy <laughs> if I can even say that. Um, yes, definitely, oh my gosh. I don't even know where to start on that. But to answer that question, yes, it has definitely changed. How does your pet behave or react after seeing a stranger? Um, kind of depends on the stranger, the situation, that kind of thing. She can get a bit skeptical, though. I'm not gonna lie, she can get a bit skeptical of strangers. She's a good watchdog. Um, but when she's introduced to new people, she's totally friendly. Has your pet ever run away from your house? Um, no, Ishka hasn't like tried to run away from home. Although when she was between six months and probably about one year old, my sister did leave the back gate open one time We'd gone into Melbourne, like into the city. We took a train. We were gone for ages. And um, when we got back home, uh, there was a note on our front door and it had said, we've got your dog, call this number. And then I was like shitting myself because I was like, oh God, where is she? Check the backyard, Ishka wasn't there. You know, she's only a young puppy. I was freaking out. 
called this this person up and they said, oh, hey, um, I'm the house just a two streets, uh, two houses down. And just come over and we've got her here. So I went to the house two streets down and lo and behold, knocked on the door. Not only did he, oh my gosh, he's bats. You got a bit of dirt on your face, sweetheart. Oh, good okay. girl. Not only did he have Ishka there, but he had, I reckon, maybe four or five border collies. Like, that house was absolutely crazy. They were everywhere. Um, but yeah, Ishka was amongst them all. Picked her up, said thank you. And we went on our merry way. That was our story of Ishka exploring out past the gate. Does your pet annoy you if you do not give it the attention it seeks? Ishka can get a little bit annoying because she'll start doing other stuff if I don't take her out in the morning. Um, she's not too bad. She just makes these weird noises and tries to get us to play with her. How demanding is your pet? If you walk her in the morning and even in the afternoon, she is gold, good as gold. When she was a lot younger, yeah, a lot more demanding. She's almost hitting four now. So she's like, she, I think she's getting to that. I, I mean, I'm not really sure what age border collies settle at, but I think she settled. There was definitely milestones. Is your pet afraid of any situation? She doesn't like loud noises. She's not really good with loud stuff. Does your pet love bathing? Ishka will let me bathe her. Um, she gets quite stiff in the bathtub, so I would say she doesn't. And she definitely loves to run around afterwards and rub herself all over everything. Do you need lots of outdoor space on your property to raise a border collie? Ah, uh, no, you don't. Um, currently I'm living in a house with a courtyard. No space at all. And, um, but we've got all these parks around here, so we're able to go out to the park and just have a run around and stuff like that. Can border collies be inside dogs? Ishka is an indoor dog. Um, we do leave the back door open so she can go in and out and love, sometimes she'll love to just hang outside and just sit in the sun. Um, but yeah, we mostly have her indoors. I mean, she chooses to hang out indoors. If anyone wants to see like photos of Ishka, her journey or whatever, we've got her on, I've got her on social media. I'll put the tag up now. And thanks for watching. Come on. Oh, your face is so dirty. It's gonna make me scoop the toad. Thank you, look at that face. A face of innocence.